Before we get into that, I would just like to say thank you so much, Kim Kaplan. You have made such a difference in the county. The way you handled everything with COVID and everything that came after, I know your job was not easy. I know you had amazing staff behind you, but you were the lead and you did an incredible job. And I thank you so much for everything you did for us. Thank you. It's been handled that you supervise every step of the way. Thank you, uh, Chairman Linger, as the chair of the committee. Thank you so very much. I felt like I had support. I had support. And that made all the difference. We got through the hardest event in public health, an historic event, and we went through it all together. And my staff is amazing. Our supervisors incredible, dedicated, the staff day after day. When you think back to the beginning, because there was a lot that people found annoying later on, but at the beginning, it was terrifying. It was really, really scary. We were just talking that the beginning, the very beginning of this, we were away, at, we were uh, out of town, and I was getting phone calls that we would need to meet every plane coming from China <laughs> and to, to transport anyone from Green County on such a plane. And when I think of how it evolved and how we would meet people and how we were originally going in person to all the homes and how we streamlined, I mean, it really is incredible. It really was an incredible journey. And I just have to thank you all for your support that we were able to do what we needed to do. Thank you. And congratulations to Laura. <laughs> Laura has many, many, many years of public health experience and many years of experience in our department. So that is really, really something. You will definitely be greatly missed. Because you will. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy that grandson. <laughs> <laughs> don't be ashamed of please. Okay, so first resolution, only resolution, pointing public health director and I would like to move that. I'll second. 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 Langer. Second. True. Davis. Warrington, Davis, and Bloomer. That's all on the committee. Jack Lucas. Lucas. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Is there any discussion? Anybody would like to have? Kim, we do have per diem work available. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please do not leave us for good. All right. Everybody did. Everybody did. That was great. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Motion to adjourn. Over. We are adjourned. Okay. I'd like to open Economic Development Tourism Committee at 6.04. Uh, we have five agenda items, but before we get to that, we have the director with us, Warren Hart, and James Hannes, who is going to speak to us about some of the upcoming resolutions, and Patty Austin, our new tourism director, who I hope you jump up and say a few words about how much you love it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with these things. It's a lot different from this side of the room. I kind of like it up here. Uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you, Legislator Overbaugh, for introducing me. 
Um, I'm here to talk about some community development block grant programs that we have coming up. Um, there's two hearings regarding some proposed funding and just yearly requirement uh, that the county is required to do every year since we are a recipient of block grant funds. So I'll go over the, the required hearing and then I'll get into the proposal uh, afterwards. So as I said, um, we're required to hold this hearing every year because of our, our community development block grant program. Uh, it's granted by the U.S. Department of uh, Housing and Urban Development. We can use that for a variety of, of, of different uses, but it has to be achieving a HUD national objective. It can be benefiting low to moderate income individuals, prevention or elimination of slums or blight, or addressing urgent community development needs such as infrastructure improvements. Uh, as of right now, the majority use of our community development block grant program funds are for business loans in two different programs. We use them in the quantum program, quantum loan fund, and the microenterprise loan fund, both of which are administered by the Green County Economic Development Corporation through a program agreement. Um, both of those programs offer local business working capital for non-construction related activities conditional on job creation made available to LMI individuals. That's where we're achieving our national objective. Uh, both programs are loans made on a reimbursement basis, but made on a reimbursement basis. The micro program is available only to businesses with five or fewer FTEs. Um, so the corporation since taking place in 2018, 2019 has administered 10 loans, uh, has employed around 30 LMI individual full-time employees. So that hearing will be held tomorrow night. Uh, the second hearing and the source of the resolution is uh, proposing the submission of a grant to a uh, community development block grant program to create a micro enterprise assistance program. Now we've had micro enterprise funds through CDBG dating back to 2004 before that, even for micro enterprise uh, funding. Um, historically, the state getting federal dollars from HUD uh, provided this program on a loan basis, but up until the last few years, they rescinded the loans, didn't want to do the loans anymore, and they've since now converted everything into a grant program. So my time on the board, my prior experience in a previous role has seen the success of a microenterprise program in, uh, in real time. So it was a prerogative of mine to, uh, to, to want to bring it here to Greene County. It helps small businesses, it helps business development, it creates jobs, and it allows startup capital to be uh, obtained by businesses in a grant form. And based on our discussions with businesses throughout the county, that's what they're looking for. They need working capital, they need human capital, this achieves both. So that public hearing will be required uh, for the full application submission. Um, it, it works the same way as the existing CDBG program. It gets uh, administered to a sponsoring municipality, which would be the county. And then GCEDC would be the subrecipient operating in the same capacity that already exists, just with this new program. Um, and we would administer funding to those micro enterprises. Um, James, these are not loans, then. These are grants. These are grants. <laughs> yeah. So, was that always the case? Yeah, the micro program is um, the state dictates. Remember, before the what James described when they pulled back the loan, the state would dictate. Sometimes we could do half loan, half rent, 60% loan, 40%. We've done them 13, 15, 16, 18. We were pretty successful and on a good track. Now it's 100% grant. Yeah. James, I, I just think it's important <coughs> on both sides that the public is made aware of the successes and failures of the loan to these businesses are these grants to these businesses because it's the taxpayer money that's fronting on the loans and being given on the grants. So I personally, myself anyway, would like to see a sheet every once in a while, you know, showing, you know, the ones that have gotten it, are they still in business? Are they paying back their loan promptly? I just think it would be a nice thing to see. And if, if they, you know, you say as you say you are that it's very successful, it, then maybe the taxpayers, you know, don't mind that, you know, we're giving these businesses a chance, you know, whether they're low income or high risk or they're high risk because they're low income. 
because they couldn't go to a bank and get a loan. So I, I just think that's very important. I'd be happy to bring a report to the committee meeting each month and thank you. tell you about the status and updates thank of you. both the quantum fund program, the, the programs that are existing as well as the new program I'm proposing. Uh, so the, the beauty of this as well, right now we're kind of casting a broad net. We're saying the, uh, the, the real uh, requirement for you to be uh, in on this program is that you have to be a micro business. You have to apply five or fewer full-time equivalents. The jobs have to be made available to LMI individuals. Um, those can get, depending on the success, depending on how this program um, uh, evolves within the county, we can start looking at more specific areas that we want to put the money in, more specific industries if this wants to be more, more driven towards uh, specific uh, types of businesses that we're trying to attract to the county. It's just, it's another tool in the toolkit that can, we, we can work to, uh, to attract investment here as well. So the grants are capped at $25,000 per business. There's a 10% equity match. So they have to come in with $2,500 of their own money. It shows that they have some skin in the game as well. Um, and that can be used as a, as a resource to build a, a, you know, funding for a larger project. So $25,000, uh, 10% equity match, five or fewer full-time equivalents. The total project cost for the, this first submission is about $328,000. We're estimating we can help about 15 micro enterprises, eight of them being startups, seven of them being existing businesses. Uh, total of nine of those will be low to moderate income individuals. And we're hoping to get about 20 full-time equivalent jobs created. That's just off the first rep. What's your guts telling you? Are you telling is, is this going to be a constant now that the federal government is pushing this money through grants? This is a it's, this is a state program. State program, but it's relying upon the federal government to move money to the state. I think it's it's the, the state is getting CDBG funding that they have to then dole out. Okay. Um, and the, the the specific reasoning why instead they're doing it on just a grant basis, I think is just to simplify and expedite the reporting process that they have to do on their end to prove to how they're achieving their own national objectives. It gets a little murky when it's both loan and debts or loan and grants. Um, so I, I, I can't speak on the longevity of how long this is going to be a 100% grant program, but uh, I know it's a good program to get the hold of when it's there. James and I talked about this earlier. Some counties are what are called entitlement counties. They get an annual amount of money, federal money passed through the state to their jurisdiction and they can spend it on a host of eligible activities. And it's an annual appropriation. We're a non-entitlement community because we're less than 50,000. All of our funds, we have to apply for. <laughs> so the state sets the rules, we apply for the funds, we put it in the best use we can to help our business. Any questions on the programs? Just out of curiosity, <laughs> uh, you put a thing out on social media that uh, to businesses, what would you do with 25,000? Did you get any responses? Yeah, so we put out a survey on social media, essentially saying, what would you do with $25,000 to invest in your business? <coughs> Part of that uh, was really because we had to establish a statement of need when we're applying for this program. And I'm a numbers guy, I wanna bring metrics to the table. So I wanted to have something that we can draw some metrics from. We had about 50 responses from the community, uh, which for a survey with no result in the end, besides thank you for helping us, is really great in my book. Um, but their top three needs were working capital, um, which is, you know, essentially start startup costs and inventory and, and, and um, tangible items to get them going, non-construction related. Um, human capital, so hiring, and then uh, the need for expansionary guidance. So that's you know, planning for how we're going to expand our business. And this is really what the money is for. So there's a, there's a pretty strong statement of need with that, which That's helps the case. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Patty, would you like to come up and introduce yourself? <laughs> Hi everybody, I think I know most of you here. A few of you I do not know. I'm the new director of tourism. 
I've been with tourism for over 15 years. I've probably done every job in tourism, from boots on the ground, all the way to marketing manager, and now I'm the director. I love my job. I love the opportunity to work with all you folks, to work with my regents, to work with I Love New York. Um, I'm, I'm just having a good time. I've always loved my job. I grew up here. I have two boys that grew up here, went to college. They're back here. They work here. And they love their community as well. So I only have two things to say. One is I need more money for my budget. <laughs> everyone else. And second, um, I did send everyone emails. You are all invited to the East Durham video launch party, which is next Tuesday at Blackthorn Resort at 530. Thank you, Patty, for hosting it. We'll have light hors d'oeuvres after the video launching, which the video is awesome. I'm really excited. Um, and a cash bar. So everyone is invited. Just let me know. I have emails out, just RSVP to me. And I look forward to seeing you. For those of you that I do not know, feel free to come up and say hello. Um, That's it. Thank Pat, you. Patty, when's your next TAC meeting? The TAC meeting? Is it an email? Fine. <laughs> um, January's TAC meeting is taking um, the Easter video launch. It's okay. taking place of that. Okay. February, I think it's the 24th, and that'll be the end of year review. I will send out an email to everybody the first week of February because I will be away the second week. Um, and that'll be the year end review and the launching of the 2023 marketing season. So yeah. we have our schedule for the whole year. I'm just hoping we can stick with it. All right, this thank point. you. Anybody so, else? And hoping that the visitor center is open by Christmas and then we'll have a Christmas party there. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Patty. We gotta keep that Stewart's ice cream there. <laughs> it's right across the street. <laughs> Deal with them, right? Some yeah. Green County yeah. special ice cream. And Warren, do you want to say anything? I'm good, thank you. You're good. All right. <laughs> thank you. Thank you all for coming. Uh, let's get into proposed action items. Number one is authorizing submittal of a community development block, block grant application and the execution of related documents. Handle and Bloomer. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That's passed. Number two, authorizing out of state travel, Green County Economic Development, Tourism and Planning, per Gotcha. 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 Okay. <laughs> Senior tourism marketing manager. <coughs> Jim, Jim and Patty. Yep. <coughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That's passed. Number three, authorizing out of state travel for Green County Economic Development, Tourism and Planning, Her Gotcha. Senior tourism marketing manager. Thorington. Handel and Thorington. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That's passed. Number four, authorizing out of state travel, Green County Economic Development, Tourism and Planning, Burt Gotcha. Senior Tourism Marketing Manager. True. True. Handled. Handled. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That's passed. And number five, budget amendment, Green County Economic Development, Tourism and Planning, Big Valley Trail Breakers, Snowmobile Club. Leonard. Yes. <laughs> Lennon and Thorington. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That's passed. Anything else to come before economic development? Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. We are adjourned. Thank you. Who's my second? Oh, second. <laughs> <coughs>
Okay, open up the <coughs> Government Operations Committee at 621. We have seven resolutions. Number one is requesting legislative assistance to extend municipal home rule legislation regarding local share of mortgage reporting costs. Martin and Hobart. Martin and Hobart. Is there any discussion? Just that I saw in there that we're respectfully calling for a permanent yeah. mortgage recording. There's three year sunsets now. We go through this motion every year. Right. And if you recall, a couple of years ago, it got tied up in politics and the county of Ulster lost their, right. what was that, then we had the sales tax. We have to go through both for both mortgage tax and then sales tax. So why the state legislature makes us go through this every biennial year. So emphasizing the word permanent. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Well, what happens? Uh, that's passed. They Number two, open. Green County. If they don't pass it, then we we lose it. We said that right. it'd be a budget cut. First. Number two, Green County Legislature State Environmental Quality Review Act seeker notice of intent to act as lead agency sale of property on Main Street to the village of Catskill and a negative declaration. Rivera, over five. Aaron Overbaugh. Any discussion? Aye. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Passed. Number three, Green County Legislature authorizing sale of a portion of county-owned property in the village of Catskill. Notice of intent to serve as lead agency. Issuance of negative declaration state environmental quality review act seeker. Greg, and uh, is this property, there's existing dumpsters on this property? Yeah, so we, we own the property, but the dumpsters are on, are being used by someone else. Right. Got this a line of buildings on Main Street that have the utilities and a maintenance agreement somewhere along the line. Okay. Uh, in time, Lower Thompson Street, which cuts right through our parking lot. Yep. Because um, we were thinking. That little parcel, which is above the curb. You know, if you were just looking at that line of building, 397, 8, 9 Main Street, you would assume it was there, but it's not. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Thank you. Okay, I need a first and a second. That's great. Move it. I'll make that one. I'll second it. Linger Davis. Hmm? Linger Davis. <laughs> Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Number four, American Rescue Plan, Town of Greenville. I'll move that. Lennon. All in favor? Aye. 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 Number five, American <coughs> Rescue Act Plan, Town of Lexington. Aye. Aye. Hobart. All in favor? Aye. 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 Number six, authorizing, maintaining, <laughs> and furnishing of assessment role related services and materials. Mark Ed. Overbaugh. Martinez and Overbaugh. Any discussion? Only to add one that should be 50%. Not 100%. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? I'm opposed. Yes. Number seven, appointing member to the Green County Board of Ethics. Hobart, leg. Hobart and leg. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone <coughs> opposed? <coughs> ask, is there anything else to come before government operations? Oh, entertainable. No. Thank you, Chairman. Martin has one more home bar. Charlie, you got five minutes. Yes. <laughs> 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 
Ready to go? Now, Matt, if you keep quiet, uh, maybe we get through this pretty quick. Before you go to your other meeting. I'll try. I'll my best. You can tell <laughs> Okay. Several so proposed resolutions. First is setting public hearing on local law introductory number one of 23, a local law providing real property tax exemption for volunteer firefighters, ambulance workers pursuant to section 466-A, real property tax law. Look, I don't want to make that. Mike, Mike, have I heard? Martinez. 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 One in Martinez, leg. Martinez. Martinez. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That's carried. Mm. Number two is, hope I don't lose. Mm. Oh, here. It's not like the first one. The pepperizing for it's state representative to introduce legislator, oh, legislation boy. for extension of sales there. I like to make that. Levera. <laughs> Martinez Levera. Any mm. discussion? Hope oh, not. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That's carried also. Number three, requesting legislative assistance to extend mutual home rule legislation regarding local share of the mortgage reporting cost. Leonard. Overbaugh. Mr. Leonard, Ms. Overbaugh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Oh, that's also carried. Number four, Green County legislature authorized sale of a portion of Green County home property in the village of Catskill. Notice of intent to serve as lead agency, issue of a negative declaration. State Environmental Quality Review Act. Village. Village. Rivera. Rivera seconds it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, that's also carried. Number five, American Rescue Act Plan, Town of Greenville. Davis. Mr. Davis. Mr. Mr. Hobart. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, that's also carried. Number six, American Rescue Plan Act, Town of Lexington. Hobart. Hobart. Leg Hobar. Leg Hobar. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Oh, that's carried. Seven, adopting annual investment policy. Davis. Mr. Davis. Oh, one second. Bob. Okay. You can have it. One, one. Hmm? Linda? Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> that's carried. Number eight, warning insurance coverage. Hobar. Hobar. Davis. Davis seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That's also carried. Number nine, authorizing contract with pure, purely clean LLC for janitorial services at various county buildings. I'll make that. Davis. Davis seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That's carried. Number 10, authorizing out of state travel, Green County Economic Development, Tourism Planning, Kirk Gucci, Senior Gucci. Tourism. Manager. Overball. It's overball. Village. Village seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That's carried. 11. Authorizing out of state travel, Green County Economic Development, gotcha. Tourism Planning, Kirk Gotcha. 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 Senior gotcha. Tourism Manager. <laughs> overball. It's overball. Davis. Davis seconds it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. That's, gotcha. that's carried. Number 12. Authorizing out of state travel, Economic Development, Tourism Planning, Gotcha. Senior Tourism Marketing Manager. Over Bob. Davis. Davis second. All in favor. Aye. Oh, that's carried. 13. Authorized purchase of LPR camera system. Davis. Over. Davis. Over second. All in favor. Aye. Oh, that's also carried. 14. Authorizing authorization to purchase emergency fire and law enforcement dispatch art software. Martinez. Second. Mark Lennon. Oh, Mark, Mr. Lennon. In all the favor. Well, in and Bulich. Mr. Bulich. Please make note of that. Made a note of it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Oh, that's carried. 15 authorized change order number one through three necessary for the completion of Tanner Route 17 reconstruction slope stabilization town of Jewish. Bulich. Mr. Bulich. Like. Legs second. Leg second to all in favor? Aye. 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 Oh, that's carried. Carry on. Number 16, authorized change order number one and two necessary for the completion of slope stabilization of County Route 2, Town of Prattville. Mr. Lake. Lake. I'll second it. 
All in favor? Aye. 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 Close that's carried. 17, a resolution authorizing implementation funding in the first instance, 100% of the federal aid and state Marticelli program aid eligible costs of a transportation federal aid project and appropriating funds therefore. Oh, oh, Linger. Linger section. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All that is carried. 18 authorizes supplemental agreement number one necessary for the completion of the construction inspection services for the rehabilitation of County Route 23B bridge over to Shingle Kill, Kill at number 3-30328-0 Town of Carroll. Harry? Of course. Huge. You would second this. Well, that was pin number 1760.24. All in favor? Aye. All right. Opposed? That's carried. <clears throat> number 19, authorizing balancing change order necessary for the completion of the Cooksaki Transfer Station Town of Cooksaki contract number 1A General Construction. Thomas and myself, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <clears throat> you did want to do that, didn't you, Tom? Sure did, John. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, 20, authorized change order number three, Luxucky Transfer Station Reconstruction Project. Contract number I, 1C, Electrical Construction. Um, Mr. Charlie, I just said, this, this one, didn't we do this last month already? I'm not sure if Scott just brought it up to us at, at discussion yeah, point. Yeah, it didn't not. come through for that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Waited for documentation of that. Okay. Thank you. We vote on it. Wasn't that they changed it from the <clears throat> poles to the underground, right? Yeah, to the yeah. transform. Yeah. <clears throat> I need a second. Hobart 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 Hobart. Hobart. All in favor. All right. All right. All right. That's carried. 21 authorized purchase of one <coughs> 23 wheel loader. Martinez. Village. Village. And Mr. Cobart. Hobart. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Opposed, that's also carried. 22 authorizing agreement for Green County Department of Human Service, Aging, and Unlimited Care, Inc. Overbaugh. Mr. Overbaugh. Blake, Blake, second. Mr. Blake, second. Yes. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Opposed, that's carried. 23 awarding meat, canned goods, frozen supplies, and paper goods bid to Ginsburg. David. David. You would second that. Uh, all in favor. Aye. 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 Holds, that's carried. I have to agree with uh, legislator Handel that uh, we should put this out for bid. Uh, but there's several other uh, people out there that probably could supply as also. I think so, it did go out for bid, but I don't think it was no, no, no. specific. <coughs> it's just posted in our posted in the right. newspaper. But I don't think it could send out to. And I think the director did say that she was going to do that. Right? Yeah. Yep. Are, are we supposed to send letters out? No, but I don't you can. Know. I think you just got to post it in your paper. Yeah. But you can. A lot of other yeah. vendors are better than those. Who are yeah. saying as if there's five yeah. other vendors and they don't read the Times Union? Right. Keep everybody. Right. Yeah, you're just going to find a better deal. Yeah. Hey, you never know. You never know. Right? You throw a line in the water. You don't know about what a fish or what. We come out with nothing. That's right. Can we vote on that? No. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Oh, that's carried. Thank you. I'm, I'm gluing it there. That's all right. Here. Number 24, authorizing contract Green County Community <laughs> Service Board and Twin County Recovery Service Inc. 23 budget amendment. Overball. It's overball. Hobart. Hobart second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Oh, that's carried. 25, appointing public health director. Martin overball. Martin has overball. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Opposed. No in opposition. Okay, let's pass. 26, authorizing, obtaining, and furnishing an assessment role related service and materials. Hobart. Hobart. Davis. Mr. Davis, second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Opposed. Opposed. Please make note. Number 27, authorized obtaining, furnish and election related service and materials. Leonard. Leonard, Mr. Davis, vice versa. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Opposed. Carried. 28, author authorization to facilitate 23 annual village elections. 
Martinez, Lavera, Lavera seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That's also carried. 29, amendment to Green County fund balance policy. Mr. I'll make that. Lavera. Mr. Lavera seconds it. All in favor of that? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <laughs> that's carried. 30, is that establishing the emergency service equipment fund? Lennon. Mr. Lennon. So we'll both second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That's carried. 31, establishing the the department vehicle fund. Martinez. Lennon. Lennon seconds it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That's also carried. 32, establishing <laughs> highway equipment and facilities reserve fund. Lavera. Lavera and Hobart. All in favor? I'm sorry. Aye. 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 Opposed? Lavera Lavera Lavera. Lavera. Yes. It's carried. 33, establishing real property tax. Stabilization fund. Davis. Mr. Davis and Mr. Bulich. I'll second it also. Ms. Bolivera, the little general. All in favor? Aye. 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 All in favor. 34, establishment of solid waste equipment and facilities reserve fund. Letter. Letter from the whole and vice versa. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Well, so Everybody you want to record it, just put it down. <laughs> <laughs> That's Gary. 35, budget amendment, Green County Economic Development Tour and Planning, Big Valley Trail Blazer, Soulville Club, 22.3. Mr. Lennon. Yep. I tell you. I'll second. Second, Tommy. Mm -hmm. All in favor. Aye. 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 Opposed? That's Gary. 36, Budget Amendment, Green County Public Health Department, Health Research Incorporated, Ep Ep Epidemiology. Epidemiology. Thank you. And Laboratory cap cap Capacity. Capacity. <laughs> For Infection Diseases. She's lost it. For Coronavirus. Yeah. Prevention. Reopening schools. Overball. Overball. Davis. David seconds it. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Opposed. That's carried. 37 budget amendment, Department of Social Service, insurance recovery. Mark Manage. Hobart. Hobart second. All in favor? Aye. 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 That's carried. 38 authorization paid claims. Highway. I'll take that. Aye. Aye. Second. Village. Village. All in favor of that. Aye. 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 So carried. 39 authorization paid claims. Who'd like to take that? Hobart. Hobart. Village. Village second. All in favor? Aye. 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 That's carried. That's the end of it. Resolution we have with us tonight, our treasure. <coughs> Peter, any good news? Oh, it's good. We have in your report uh, all the information that you need. Some things are up, some things are down, but it's pretty stable. The key issue for Treasury this year, especially in December, was to chase interest rates. Uh, we're getting paid less than 2%. National Bank of Kusaki stepped forward and put a $10 million certificate of deposit paying free. Friday, I called Bank of Green County, left a voicemail, told them that uh, somebody was paying me free, and I expect to hear from you. Today, I had voicemail. Bank, National Bank of Green County is paying 3% as of this morning. So we will push when it gets to four. That's <laughs> <laughs> how many yields are Yeah. If we don't touch the money, about eighty thousand dollars in interest for twenty twenty three. Maybe more. Um, how, how, how did our mortgage tax uh, end up for the year? <coughs> Was our mortgage tax then did it level out, or is it continuing to you know, show? I was wondering if sales are still strong like they were, you know, previously. It did come down because it's, it's, it's a long lead time on that. Slowing down. Yeah, slowing down a bit. I think the thing you need to concern yourself with drive down Main Street. See how many empty stores in there. Then, if you get a chance to cross the bridge, drive down Warren Street, five empties. The rents are getting too high. Yeah. But the other issue is this. I don't know if any of, you, any of you saw it, but the Congress talked about eliminating the federal income tax 
and doing a national sales tax. You know how old that concept is? I can remember teaching taxation when we brought that up. That was 30 years ago, right? It didn't pass then, it probably won't pass now. But obviously, if it does, it may have an impact on our sales tax. <coughs> Yeah. We will watch which, which there's some states that do a consumption tax instead of an income tax. Well, like, right? some of them are nine and a half, ten, ten and a half percent consumption tax yeah. rather than collect income tax. Yeah. Any other questions or concerns? Motion to close. Second.